Thank you very much for joining us once again. We're here at Parliament and with the committee chairperson, Honorable Mbala Kamunyagwa. Today, as you've heard, they have been having officials from Bank of Uganda. The meeting ended uh, prematurely because of uh, the failure by Bank of Uganda pr to present some of the requirements the committee uh, requested for. Honorable, uh, you asked for accounting officials from, or an accounting officer from Bank of Uganda. Uh, why? No, 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 no. If you have been following the trend of events, Bank of Uganda, people are giving out money. People are using money with impunity. They are using public payers' money with impunity. You know? And uh, you see, the Auditor General has always cautioned them, but they keep on repeating same, same things. So I found it important that we find out who is the accounting officer. If the bank has the governor and deputy governor, aren't they the accounting offi they officer? They can't be. You know, matters of law are matters of law. The law, the roles, one, the roles of the governor and deputy governor that are outlined by the law do not include the governor being the accounting officer. They don't. So in, that, in such a scenario, the secretary of the treasury, who is the permanent secretary of the Ministry of Finance, would explicitly appoint the governor and deputy governors and the, and the deputy governor as accounting officer. But where such a letter is not written, you don't have an accounting officer in the Bank of Uganda. And it's the reason maybe why people are acting with impunity because they know you're not apprehended at the end of the day. Okay. Yes. Uh, secondly, one of the issues you want, you want to look at mm -hmm. is to do with the queries raised by the Auditor General mm -hmm. from the financial year 2016, 2017, 2017, 2018 mm -hmm. in regards to the money Bank of Uganda injected into Green the recapitalization Bank. of Crane Bank. This is the 470 plus billion. Wasn't this issue handled by the, your predecessors under Katonto? It was never handled. It is actually it is reflected in the two audit reports that were issued by the you no know, in, in the audit report that was issued by the Auditor General. You know it's so bad that people in the Bank of Uganda can just sit, wake up one day and donate four hundred and seventy billion shillings. Four hundred and seventy billion shillings. They can put up five hospitals of the size of Mulago. Let me tell you. They were just donated. Who? Who? Who cleared the donation? You know, was it a donation, a grant, a loan? What was it? And who authorized it? You see, these are pertinent questions. Now, and you know, Mr. Mr. Akasekende said that for them, their body can just sit and decide to do anything with money. That's what he insinuated. And he said, actually, the law, he read for us as a provision of the law, which mandates Bank of Uganda authority to use 25% of any profit made by Bank of Uganda. Even if Bank of Uganda made 10 trillion today, they will just go remove 2.5 trillion, seat five of them, divide it amongst themselves, and move scot free. Okay. For the 470 billion, who authorized it? That was it a loan, a grant, was it a donation? What was it? All right. Yes. Thank you very much, Honorable Munyagwa, the chairperson of Kosase, for speaking to us. We've also understood that the same officials from Bank of Uganda will appear before the same committee tomorrow. Back to you in the studio.